Hi everybody, welcome back to PokeRogue. My name is Mikey Dubs, and in today's video, something exciting is happening. Grookey has PokeRus. So every day, a new Pokemon in the game will have this purple border around them. And that means they have PokeRus. They're going to be gaining experience points faster and be spreading PokeRus to other Pokemon. So, I figure I'm going to be starting with a grass type. I want to do a fun team build. So I actually pulled up this Pokemon type chart and went super ham with it. And all I did was go down Grass's weaknesses and see who covers for them. So this times two weakness. Who covers for them? Fire. Looking over. Rock. Okay. And then and I kept looking down this list. A second times two weakness. Fire. Does fire helps out the defense here? We go to poison. Rock helps out there. Flying. Rocks out. Rock helps out here. Bug. Both fire and rock help with bug. At least offensively. Rock will. So it's like okay. If I want to go for a grass type, maybe it's not even fire, water, grass. Maybe the answer is fire, rock, grass. So that's what I'm going to go for. I want to go for Foy Coco for my fire slot. And I'm also going to be going for rock rough, not own tempo form. And I can toggle his IVs. He's got decent IVs, decent IVs. So. We're going to do grass, fire, and rock. And we have one extra point to work with here for our starting team. And we're actually going to add our shiny. Begin with these Pokemon. Yes, I will. Make a new slot. And begin. Hop up. Let's roll. Go Grookey. Will I switch out my Pokemon? I think I will. I have three strong Pokemon that I can go to. And I'm going to use the right one for the right situation. I think we use Ember here. Just kill the Hop up. Thank you. So hopefully I can get Pokerust spread to all of these Pokemon. That's something that I might be having to check after the game is over. Let's take a lore for more double battles. An Abra does make sense to catch, but I've already caught one. So why don't we just, why don't we just put this guy down? Okay, maybe I should have thrown a ball. <laughs> Rattata. Will I switch Pokemon? I think I will. Rockruff has a decent matchup against all normal type Pokemon. Even if I don't have a rock type move to start yet. I didn't take the own tempo form to get the dusk form like in rock because I... Oh, wide lens. What does that do? We take that. And we're going to give it to rock rough because rock rough is going to be using rock type moves. Increase my accuracy. Nice. So I decided to go for the the non own tempo rock rough. So this ho hopefully this one will evolve in the daytime to the midday form, but I'm okay with night with dusk or the night form as well. That also works. Don't necessarily like rock rough taking that much of a defense drop. Definitely go for a lower here come back. No double battle, unfortunately. Let's rock Caterpie versus Rock Rough. I think it might be time for me also to turn up the game speed. I'll go to 2x. I'm not going any further. And skip scene dialogues on. Okay. I might go up further than this. I may not. Rock Rough is getting a lot of debuffs here. Luckily, he's still a Rock type. Or she's still a Rock type. There we go. Level 6, I like that. Bidoof comes in. I think I just stay in here. I only take 3 damage from Tackles. That's a lot less damage I'll take from anybody else. Numbers wise, it just makes sense to stay in here. A rare candy makes some sense to me. I'm not going to go for Rock Ruff. I'm actually going to go for Play Coco. Alright, Grookey, come out here. Will I switch out Rockruff? No, I will not. But who will I will switch out is yes, Grookey. Come out here, Foy Coco. Get a better type matchup. Let's tackle the the Wooloo and Ember the Wooloo. Defense curl does matter. Oh, it's a critical hit. Goes right through. See you later. We're going to tackle the Scatterbug, and we're going to tackle the Scatterbug. There we go. Right where we want him. Now let's catch him. We haven't caught this Pokemon yet, so I think it's worth adding to the team.
I think one. I don't want to spend any money in potions this early. So maybe we do just drop a potion on Rock Ruff and continue on. Definitely have good matchup early on with this rock type against these against these flying and, and normal types in this early game. Strong tackle. What's a Ganlon berry? Race's defensive health is below 25%. I think we invest in some Pokeballs here. Alright, rival battle. Let's do it. You have a Toto Dial. That is a proper problem for me. Incoming water type move. Grookey should be able to tank up at least a little bit. I haven't invested in Grookey at all. Okay, I think we did, we played the long game here. You will more than likely switch to Toto Dial here. Let me just go back and forth. Go to Grookey. Water Gun. You'll more than likely switch. I'm going to Growl. There you go. And I'm going to switch to Rock Ruff. Your tackle's not going to do that much to me. How much is that worth? I'm not too sure. Let's tackle. If I do this rigmarole, does he... Do I win or does he win? I wouldn't mind sacking a Scatterbug. Mortargun does enough to kill, I think, but he might still swap. Yep. Okay. He might stay in again. Nope. All these hits are going to matter. I think Scatterbug come out here. Tank this water gun for me. Thank you. Appreciate what you did for me. Torrent. Oh, Torrent matters a lot, actually. Mm. Wait, Coco might live a shot. Doubt it, but he can try. Oh, he uses Scratch. He doesn't even use Water Gun. Okay. Here comes the water gun. Down goes Fred Coco for sure. Rockruff might outspeed. I have string shot or it's just tackle. I don't think water gun will one hit me. Yeah, we just use tackle here. Stone axe. Oh, you use tackle. I use stone axe. It's going to be super effective, homie. Torontula. My shiny Pokemon coming in the clutch here for this rival battle. Let's go. And and it's, it's Stealth Rocks as well. Let's go. I got the best shiny of all time. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. Yeah, I think potions are in order here. Rockruff. And I'll take one for myself. For No. Let's do a Super Lore. No, wow, even with a Super Lore going... Boy, switch Pokemon, yes. To Rock Ruff we go. I want to get a rock move ASAP, so I want to make sure that Rock Ruff's involved. Poor Fue Coco went down. It's just tough to have a grass type out here in the early game. All the flying types and, and the poison types and the bug types around. I think we do take a revive. We definitely don't take a revive. I don't know what I'm thinking. How about a potion on Rock Ruff when we send it? Boss of... It's a water grass type. And it's raining. Will I switch Pokemon? Yes. Branch poke. Good. I have a move I can use here. My attack falls. Don't think it's going to matter. It does matter. Okay. Hey, don't flinch me. That's not cool. That's your tactic? Okay, what, what goes up? Your special attack? I think I think Astonish is physical. Rookie, you're doing a great job here, homie. Maybe we should have gone to catch that, but I think we're fine here. Got an EXP charm. Stealth Rocks effects wore off, unfortunately. We get the full heal on the whole squad, and we're rolling. See, it's, it's tough to keep a grass Pokemon out here, knowing that you're just gonna... Take super effective damage from this Pidgey. You know what I'm saying? So I will switch out Grookey for my boy Rockruff. And I will switch out my boy Scatterbug for my boy Fue Coco. 
Oh, I really learned double team. Fine, we'll double team it up. And then we'll ember the, the Pidgey slot. Hey, don't do that. And I better not flinch. Holy double team and ember. How does he hit a sand attack on me? Double team ember. I'm getting so greedy. My power, my, uh, my moves. How does he land a bite? My evasion of stays between rounds as long as I don't get called back to a trainer battle. Five foot Coco. This is the biggest troll of my life, but here we are doing it. It's all to get the rock, rock rough stacked up. All right, let's tackle the Pidgey. Scratch the Pidgey. I miss. Oh my gosh. Oh, Squawbit missed. Tackle. How, do, how am I missing? I have a wide lens on. No, I ate a sand attack, but still. Don't bite my Grookey. Why, why am I not using Branch Poke? Ooh, I miss. I need to hit. Oh, nice. The Overgrow comes in clutch. Let's go. Yeah, losing my Fue Coco right after level up is kind of a troll. What's what's uh, Rockruff's XP looking like? Very low. We definitely apply here. So I believe, I believe I have increased evasiveness right now. Gonna make it, uh, how does he land that? Oh, he misses. Yeah, okay. I miss because I have lower accuracy. That's fine. I think a revive would come in handy. Here. Maybe a potion as well. Spending a lot of money in the early game, but... Let's go revive on my Fuecoco. Will I switch Pokemon? No, I will not. I need to get a rock type move on this lad as quickly as possible. This might this Pedal actually might be a catch for me. I don't I don't think we'll be bring down his health anymore. We Pokeball. We catch. Scatterbug learns stun spore, I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm gonna be using that. Um the map to determine where we go next is actually going to be kind of important, I think. If I want, the, if I get the Lycan Rock that I want to get the Lycan Rock I want. Let's just, let's just let fate decide. Do I want to switch? No. I, I'm liking the evasiveness that I have going. You can't hit me. What are you going to do? Okay, you, you do hit me and it hurts. Oh, but you missed this time. There we go. I should have caught that Doe Duo. I haven't caught one yet, but I want the big XP chunks. Let's take a potion for my Rockruff here. Will I switch? Don't, I will not. I, I am going to miss from time to time. I got a random sand attack on me. Which kind of sucks. I'm gonna using all my tackles. Yeah. So it takes like three of them to kill one laddie. Yes, rock throw. Thank you. And I will get rid of sand attack. Maybe a bad move there, but the accuracy, I'm not sure. Take some great balls. Think about our future here. And a double trainer battle. Yes. Metapod, a bug type, and a bug poison type. Okay, perfect. I got rock throw. This would be a great fight for Fue Coco to be out here for. But you're going to use Rock Throw on... I don't want to eat a Poison Sting, so let's hit you. And Grookey, you're actually going to get swapped out because you're, you're level 10. I want to get some more XP on this Fue Coco. Later, kid. Tarantula wants to learn Assurance. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's learn Assurance instead of Tackle. Metapod is using Harden. Well, I got news for you, homie. It's not going to work out the way you think it will. Get one shot. Oh, not even a one shot. That's tough. And a string shot comes in. It's going to 
lower my speed harshly. Hopefully after this trainer battle, that goes away, though. Not bad. Swagger? What does this do? The user enrages and confuses the target. However, this also sharply raises the target's attack stat. I don't think I want to put this on anybody. I'd take the Ultra Balls instead here. Let's switch Pokemon. I actually will. Get a Scatterbug out there. And then this get a hard swap back to Rockruff. Refresh those stats. You take a little bit of health damage for it, but I think it might be worth it in the long term. Rock Throw is super effective. We hit level 13. We want to get to level 25 as quickly as possible. A Nugget here for the extra cash. I will not switch out Pokemon, but I will go for a Rock Throw. A hard-hitting Rock type to start the game. Ooh, we're taking a lot of damage from this guy. The Wide Lens coming in clutch, because these moves can definitely miss. Grookey wants to learn Razor Leaf. I think we might... Taunt is not enabled, so... Yeah, we just get rid of it. Ooh, Scatterbug is evolving. This guy wants to stay on the, on the squad. What is that? Oh, it's this lad. It's... <laughs> Spupa. <laughs> Alright, Spupa, welcome. No upgrades in my items. What, am I, what do I even have a legendary around for? Or is a... A shiny around for... What in the world is this Pikachu? Will I switch Pokemon? No, I will not. But I will be catching this lad. Draining Kiss! Catch it. Catch it. Ultra Ball it. Ultra Ball it. That Pikachu knows Draining Kiss. Okay. It's... It's just an insanely amazing... Pikachu? Spupa, I'm... I'm sorry, this is where we part ways. Pikachu, enter the squad, please. Thank you. Let's go ahead and potion up the lads. I want to get Pikachu involved in, at some point. I'm not sure when that's going to be. That's the lore. Trainer battle! Gym leader. Oh, wait. Gym leader battle. Okay. I should have a decent matchup. I'm a rock type. You're a normal type. Baby doll eyes is going to lower my attack. By one stage. You're going to use it again. Lower my attack by another stage. But you've done approximately zero damage. Good. Now you go for the switch. You still have done approximately zero damage. Retaliate. That might hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. We're fine. But Lily Pup. Oh, he's getting so pumped. So pumped to faint. Next time you come at me with that, you might want to bring some more damage. Echoed voice might hurt me quite a bit, but it doesn't hurt me at all. That's the best part. And you have no option. Gym leader down, ladies and gentlemen. Bump it up, bump, 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 boom. And an egg voucher. Let's go. All right, grass types. This is where a rock ref might get a little bit bodied. Will I switch it out? Yes, I will. Torn Tula actually has a pretty decent matchup here, but let's get Grookey some experience points. Will I switch Flake Coco? Obviously not. Growl, and let's... I have never... I have not caught a Shroomish. Yeah, the Growl comes in handy here for sure. Alright, so I think this is an easy scratch angle on the CDOT. And an easy ember able angle on the shroomish. Quick Coco wants to learn bite. Yes, I think we can make room for bite on the on the squad. Get rid of round. I don't see us using it. Absorb. Interesting decision summoner. I'm gonna go for a Pokeball here. That's money. This, your party is full. Release a Pokemon to make room for Shroomish. A Pedo. I think you gotta go. I'm sorry. Shroomish has entered the squad. An HP up makes a lot of sense to me. 
HP up me on the rock ruff. Okay. So for this one, I think we go for a... Again, a growl to start. And an ember on the Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf is the one operating with two typings. I think that's the one we want to take out first. Mega Drain hurts a little bit more. Let's go for another Growl. Go for an Ember. Growl helps us there. Mega Drain is going to hurt a little bit, but not enough to scare me away. Boom, levels up on both. Let's go. Rockoff wants to learn Howl. Howl makes a lot of sense to me, especially from a duo perspective. Raising my attack stat, that could be insanely, ins insanely good. We're going to do a Scratch. And we're going to do an Ember. I should... Oh, it doesn't do enough. This is tanky. Laddie has Headbutt and we live. Oh... No, we don't live. Oh my gosh. It's so GG. It's so over. Wow, I really thought we would go first. Quick Coco wants to learn Incinerate. Sure. What does Incinerate do? These are attacks opposing Pokemon with fire. If a, if a Pokemon is holding a certain item, such as a berry, the item becomes burned up and unusable. Well, I think it's a decent move. It's got 15 uses. Right, let's get Rockruff out here. Mm. Shuppy raises a random stat. We might want a, a small potion on Fue Coco here. But then after that, I think we just Pokeball it. Might be a bit of a hot take. This rock ruff's in danger here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Owl and then I'm going to Ember. Mega Drain is the most is the worst possible scenario for me. Mega Drain is the worst possible scenario for me, and I go down. Oh my goodness, this could be the end. Why would you not just put in your bug type? Putting an electric type is not the is not the play either. Just get down the shroomish, is all I ask. Oh, leech seed comes out. That's not good. Torontula wants to learn faint. I think we can make faint fit somewhere, right? Uh not really. Sorry, Faint. Yes. Wait, Coco's evolving. Let's go! My savior! He will save the run. He's like, everyone's fainting around me. That's no problem. It's a, my Fue Coco has evolved into Crocolore. Let's go. Oh, get, get paralyzed. And you know what? Get, get Drain and Kiss while you're at it and Ambered. I don't think this will actually kill, and I'm actually going to go for the catch. There you go. Don't mega drain me. That's just rudeness. You're paralyzed. You're low on HP. Just stay in the ball. Thank you. Thank you. All right, who can come out? Shroomish. There we go. I would take a revive. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think we might want to actually get a revive off on Rock Ruff. This, this is a pretty pricey revive. Take the great balls here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight back to Crocolore. I think Incinerate is well within our our power here to maybe even get a one shot. There we go. I think spending all that money on the revive might be a little bit of a waste, especially if we get a revive for free here. What is Eerie Impulse? 
The user's body generates an eerie impulse, exposing the target to its harsh... Harsh lowers the special attack stat. Who can learn this? Pikachu? Sorry, I might just I might just have to skip that and go straight for the the great balls. Okay, we, this is a tough fight for us. We didn't heal up our Grookey. Borontula, I need you to get out here. I need you to do something strong. Water gun, tank it. Okay. Um. Stone axe. <laughs> no, I was hoping maybe he would go for a scratch or something. But that water gun's gonna come in like a. Like a something. So we need to get a Thunder Wave off. And he's, it needs to hit. That's that's the best. That's the most important part. Oh, we're so back. Our special attack rose. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about you hit this Thunder Wave? Thank you. Thank you. And for that, we're punished with him not getting paralyzed? Come on, game. I mean, it's coming down to the... To the, to the wire here. Oh, you would draw Croconaw. That's just... That's just... Yeah, this this might be the end. My only end. The end. Go to Pokemon here. Go to Rockruff. He's half HP. We're in a rival battle. We're about to get beat down. Wing attack does hurt. Well, but this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt Croconaw. Come on. He's paralyzed. Here's what we do. We double team. We pray that he misses. No! No paralyzed, no miss. Okay, we went for cheesy tech. No more cheesy tech needed. He's gonna swap, which means I growth. <laughs> Probably a waste, because he's just gonna one shot me. But you never know. Okay, we came in here with a plan, and our plan was apparently to get everybody killed. Let's go incinerate me. Mud slap. You have mud slap, and it lowers my accuracy. Get burned. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Bring out the the, the paralyzed crocodile. See if I care. If I don't, if you don't flinch, then you might get po Then you might get uh paralyzed. No water gun. No, no. I live. Oh, I'm so back. Yes. Oh my gosh, my strats are unbelievable. They're out of this world. They're insane. They're OP levels of OP. Give me three levels. You're not going fast. You're not going before me. What is this thing? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Whoa. An Arctovish comes in. Do I want to restart from the beginning of the battle? I will not. But that's going to be the end of this one. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I think what I might try to do here is I want to see if my Pokerus spread to anyone else. This, this will be a telling sign. A telling sign. Pokerus? Pokerus? It might only be an in-battle thing. But either way, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.